This tutorial shows how to insert and modify image watermarks in Microsoft Word. Hello, my name is Erin. I'm a technical writer and editor who shares step-by-step -step software tutorials and writing tips for the real world on this channel and on my blog at erinwritewriting.com. This is the second in a three-part series about watermarks in Microsoft Word. In the first part, we inserted and modified text watermarks. Today, we're going to insert and modify image watermarks. And in the third part, we'll insert text and image watermarks on specific pages in Word. Image watermarks can be anything from logos to background pictures or graphics used for security, branding, or design. I'll be using Word for Microsoft 365. These steps will also work in Word 2019, Word 2016, and Word 2013. However, your interface might look slightly different in those older versions of the software. To begin inserting an image watermark, select the Design tab in the ribbon. Then select Watermark in the Page Background group, followed by Custom Watermark from the drop-down menu. When the Printed Watermark dialog box appears, select the Picture Watermark radio button and then select the Select Picture button. Next, select From a File in the Insert Picture dialog box to locate an image stored on your computer. Alternatively, you can choose Bing Image Search to search for an image online, or OneDrive to locate an image stored in the cloud. The Insert Picture dialog box will close automatically after you make your selection. Next, find and select your image in the second Insert Picture dialog box. And then select the Insert button. Now, select a Scale option if you want to change the size of your image. You can also select Wash Out to lower your image's color intensity, which will make it look more like a traditional watermark. We'll look at how to adjust the image's brightness and color contrast in the next section. When you're finished, select the OK button. Your image watermark should appear in your document. Each time you add a watermark, it replaces the existing watermark. So if you want to replace your watermark, you can just repeat all the steps in the previous section. However, you can also modify the size, position, and color options for an existing image watermark, as shown in this section. To begin, double-click the top of any page to open the Header and Footer tab. We have to open this tab because watermarks are part of the header in Word, even though they typically appear in the middle of the page. Then, hover your cursor over the watermark, until your cursor becomes two crossed arrows. Then double-click to select the watermark. This selection process can be a bit temperamental, so you may have to try more than once. When the watermark is selected, small gray adjustment handles shaped like squares and circles will appear around the border. Now select Hold and drag the adjustment handles to change the size of your watermark. In addition, the top center handle can be used to tilt the watermark to the left and right. To reposition your watermark, hover your cursor over it until the cursor becomes two crossed arrows again. Then, click, hold, and drag your watermark to a new position. Next, right-click the watermark with the crossed arrow cursor and select Format Auto Shape Picture from the shortcut menu. When the Format Picture dialog box appears, you can select an option from the color menu. The Automatic option is usually the same as the Washout option, which reduces color intensity. You can also choose grayscale or black and white. Next, adjust the brightness and contrast as necessary. 
If you change your mind about any of your customizations, select the Reset button to return the watermark to the default settings. Although it's not usually necessary, you can also select the Compress button if you need to reduce the image's resolution or delete cropped areas in order to minimize the file size for printing or web display. When you're finished, select the OK button. Explore the Picture Format tab for additional options such as shadow effects. Note that this tab only appears when an image watermark or other image is selected. When your customizations are complete, select the Header and Footer tab, and then select the Close Header and Footer button. The changes you made to your watermark should take effect immediately. If you need to remove your watermark later on, select the Design tab, followed by Watermark, and then Remove Watermark from the drop-down menu. As always, remember to save your file to save your changes. I have created many other videos about Microsoft Word, including how to create newspaper-style columns in Microsoft Word, and how to insert headers and footers in Microsoft Word. Please see the complete list in the playlist titled How to Use Microsoft Word, which is linked in the description box below. The companion blog post for this video showing all the steps we just performed appears on erinwritewriting.com, which is also linked below. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic related to Microsoft Word or Adobe Acrobat that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future tutorials, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.